In 1954, the Supreme Court ruled against segregation in schools. Three years later, nine black children tried to attend the all-white Central High School in Little Rock, Arkansas. Now, 50 years later, Dr. Terrence Roberts, one of the nine students, recalls that day. The fear that was to be my companion for the rest of that year. So, the first day, I can tell you in one word, it was fearful. Our household was run as if none of this stuff was actually going on. It was, a, I think, a psychological ploy, because if we could create within the home as much of a normal situation as possible, then I could leave that and go out and contend with all those forces at the school with a um, great deal of uh, conviction that it was going to work, because I knew I could always go back home where things were safe. In 1999, President Clinton awarded the nine former students Congressional Gold Medals for their roles in the Civil Rights Movement. And as the nation marks the 50th anniversary of the event, Dr. Robert feels that there is much work ahead. We have been content with uh, surface changes. Uh, you know, we have decided that by smoothing over the surface, things are really okay, so we don't have to do anymore. But underneath, the real issues continue to bubble up. They break through the surface every now and again. You have a James Byrd dragged behind a pickup truck in Texas. You have a Buford Furrow who takes automatic weapons and guns down Jewish kids at a daycare center in California. You have uh, all kinds of things like that, but people see them as aberrations. They're not. They're simply indicative that the stuff is continuing to bubble underneath. He also shared his views about the controversial statements made by former talk show host Don Imus. Well, there again is a, another indication that Don Imus is symbolic of a very large number of people in this country who think the way Don Imus thinks. And to him, it was no aberration, you know. And to me, it was no aberration, because I could see it for what it truly was. Don Imus believes what he said. He has no respect for black females. He probably doesn't respect females at all, for that matter. But and that's not unusual. You know, I wasn't uh, exercised by that. I simply saw it as another manifestation of the, who the majority of folk in this country are. According to Dr. Roberts, inequality at the workplace is still prevalent. Just look at corporate America. 97% uh, of the CEOs are white males. Now, you may argue that that's just a function of uh, quality and ability, but you'd be wrong. <laughs> It's a function of a society that's set up in a very affirmative way to make it possible for white men to succeed while other people have to scramble for whatever crumbs are left. Looking forward, he shares the following advice with students to overcome some of the obstacles. One of the first things you have to realize is that this is an imperfect world and that in order to cope with its imperfections, you're going to have to be as well equipped as possible, which means, in the least, having uh, an education that allows you to see beyond the ordinary. So a real flow, I would, I would encourage them to think seriously about taking executive control of their own education and using the schools or other resources and libraries, or whatever else is available, to really educate themselves and do it rapidly. Reporting from Cypress College, this is Saji Abraham for Round and About, Orange County News.